Okay, so this is going to be uh, five minutes on multiplying and dividing. And again, we might not all be fast at multiplying and dividing, but I think we all know how to multiply and divide. So I'm just going to quickly review the rules for what to do when there are negatives with your multiplication and division. And I recorded this separately from addition and subtraction just so that you could more easily come back to it if you needed to look at just the multiplication and division part in the future. So first, I want to remind you that there are different ways to write multiplied by now that we're in an algebra class. So we don't just use that cross for multiplied by anymore. You can use that if you want to write 6 times 2, you can use the x. But you won't see that as much because that symbol can sometimes look like the letter x, which we use a lot in algebra class. So instead, we write it sometimes like this with the numbers in parentheses. Anytime you see numbers in parentheses, that means you're multiplying them together. Or you, sometimes we put a dot in the middle, and that dot shows multiplied by. It means the same thing as the cross. So when we're multiplying, you could multiply two positives, two negatives, or a negative and a positive together. And the um, sign of your answer will change depending on which one of these you're doing. So if it's two positives multiplied together, you're going to get a positive answer. A negative and a positive will give you a negative answer no matter which one comes first. And two negatives make a positive. So for example, this first equation shows 4 times negative 5. We know 4 times 5 is 20, but the question is, will it be positive or negative? Since we have a positive, Four and a negative 5, that makes a negative answer, negative 20. Negative 3 times negative 6, the two negatives come together to make a positive. 3 times 6 is 18, so that would be a positive 18. And 7 times 8, that's the one I, can, I have the most trouble with. It's just the one I always get stuck on. That's 56. The rules for dividing are very similar. So once you have the rules down, you'll be good with dividing as well. There are also different ways to write divided by. You can use the division sign. You won't see that as much in algebra anymore either. Um, more often, you'll see 6 over 2. It looks like a fraction, but that means divided by. So anytime you have something written on top of something else, that means divided by, 6 divided by 2. Or sometimes you see it this way. This was kind of the elementary school way. You won't see it that much anymore either. Most commonly, you'll see the one in the middle. So if I have a positive divided by a positive, that's a positive. Positive and negative make a negative. Doesn't matter which one's on top. And two negatives, the negatives cancel, and that makes a positive. So the same as multiplying. Do a little practice. 49 over negative 7. That's the same as 49 divided by negative 7. That gives you negative 7. Negative 54 over positive 9 is negative 6. Negative 30 over negative 6. Those are two negatives. So your answer will be positive, positive 5. That's all.